still live from Lake Ariel, Pennsylvania. It's a tragic day after edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. I'm not going to go off on a crazy today, but all right, rant that I've got because of everything that happened the other day in Vegas. I mean, big tragedy, you know, some psycho with like, they, I think they said now like 23 guns killed almost almost 60 people. I think it was like 59 people, over 400 and something injured. And now all the stars are coming out um, about gun control Going, just going off on the whole thing. How oh, well, nobody does enough. Blah, 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 blah. And uh, a couple of things I got to say about that. First of all, I think it's funny. All these stars go off on these tangents. When Republicans in office, they go off on any type of any Republican. It, it makes me laugh because when Obama was president, they weren't as vocal. They were vocal, but they were more vocal towards their local than towards you know the president and that um here's the thing you know that they, what they need to do is yes I definitely agree that the loopholes something has to be done about all these loopholes I mean it is ridiculous you know it's uh for example that it's illegal to buy the weapon and the uh, brain fart moment, I can't remember what the name of, the, of it's called, um, that could basically convert it from a semi-automatic to an automatic. It's illegal to buy them together from the same place, but you can buy them separately from two different gun shops. Now here's my thing, why is it even legal to buy a device to convert a weapon fully automatic? Why is it legal to own a fully automatic weapon? I don't understand that. Like, why? I yes, I understand the right to bear arms. Okay, I don't have an issue with people owning guns. I don't understand why the tools are out there to make these deadly weapons. Um. And yes, you know what? It, I, of course, it all comes down to that. First of all, well, this is America, free enterprise society. How you can't tell a company that you can't make this stuff, basically. But there's just no need for it. Like, I don't understand how this stuff even got... A, 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 it should have been stopped when, honestly, when they tried approving patents. The stuff should have been stopped. Because there was no need. I mean, it, there was no need for an individual to be able to take a semi-automatic and change it to a fully automatic. And all these people, especially people in California that, that say all the you know, all like the AK-47s and that hunting rifles. I'm sorry, but if you need an automatic weapon to go hunting, you're no damn hunter. You, it just means you can't shoot for shit. Seriously. Because if you were a good hunter, you would be able to take that deer down with a shot, no problem. You wouldn't need to have to blow off 20 pops. Like, Really? So that's the thing right there. Close those loopholes up. You know, I fully agree with the background checks. You know, they, there should be at gun shows background checks. I understand it. You know, the whole purpose of these shows is so people can buy the gun and get them then because these gun shows close up and go to another location. And then what do you do about getting the gun? I Something's got to be put into place about, the, about a background check. And, you know, maybe have arrangements with local gun shops where these, in the towns where these gun shows are and uh, have the agreement that, you know, they will have the gun the person passes the background check or they have to go to the gun shop to, you know, fill out the paperwork for the background check. As long as they pass the background check, they can release the gun. If not, the gun will get shipped back somehow, I don't know at whose expense, back to the person from the gun show. It should be like that. Like I fully agree in that. You should not be able to own a gun without a background check. And and I'm, I'm, sometimes I feel the same way about rifles. You know that that varies from state to state. Um, in some, you know, a lot of states now they have to do a background check when you buy a new rifle. But it's okay to own, like Pennsylvania, you could have rifles. 
you owned them prior to the law existence, you know, like your grandfathered in, you could be a nut job with felonies, doesn't matter, they were in your family, blah, 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 blah. you're allowed to own them and not have them registered. Because you try to register them and they're going to say no because you have a felony. Anyway, some of these loopholes have got to go. And I, I know there's going to be a lot of people that might disagree with me, especially in the area that might disagree with me, but I'm sorry, but everyone talks about being a safe hunter, a responsible gun owner, so then what is so wrong about having the responsibility of doing what's right? You know, same thing with their trigger locks. I'm sorry, the way they talk about seatbelts and all this other stuff, and car seats for your kids, why isn't it that you, you should, you buy a gun, first of all, it should be required to have some form of a trigger lock on it or something, so it doesn't accidentally discharge. And there should be, while you cannot limit because of our constitutional rights, you can't limit how many guns somebody owns. You can't turn around and say, no, you're not allowed to have X amount of guns. But you should be limited to, to how many guns you can purchase within a specific time period. You shouldn't be able to go and, you know, throw that money and buy 10 guns type of thing. You know, there, there, should, be, there should be a limit and there should be a time frame in between. You know, these things need to be monitored better. And they say, oh, the system's bad, it's broke, they, you know, they, they, there's no way to really monitor across the country. Bullshit! Okay? Bullshit. Because if you have a CDL license, for example, and a state trooper goes to, you know, put that into the system, bam, it could pull up shit that you did in another state with that CDL. Um... They don't really do it for cars for some reason. I don't know why, but anyhow, that's something totally different. Why can't you have that system? You know, you go and you, uh, you, you're on welfare or something like that, and you work a job, you start, you start working, bam, it hits the systems. So it's not that difficult to do. You, there should be a better tracking of these things. There really should. You know, just like when you move, you move to another state or something, you know, you should, you, you register re, your car there and that, well, you should be required to register your guns, your rifles, things like that, I'm, you know, I mean, there's the other side of the fence that's going to turn around and say, oh, well, government tracking you, and yes, I fully understand that, but, you know, it, it, enough's enough already, it, it, it's gotten bad, and all these people are just sit around and say, oh, well, the mental health, mental health, that, that was a big thing with, with the former president, the whole, oh, mental health. Guess what? It only works if somebody realizes that they have a problem and they go for help. But majority, I'm going to say, you know, without really looking at it, to really researching it, I mean, I'm going out on a limb and saying statistically 99% of these whack jobs don't have a on-file mental health history. Yeah, you could say maybe they have mental health issues, but nothing that's actually on file, nothing that's been reported, nothing that they've gotten help for, nothing that they've been arrested for. So they're not in the system. So it's not even going to really show up. It's not going to show up on a background check because they've never been hospitalized for it. You know, most nut jobs, the, the, the insane person is not the person that says, I'm insane, I have a problem. That take, that's more sane to go get help. It's the person who doesn't realize they have a problem. You know, just like uh, drinking. You know, a person that says, oh, yeah, I drink too much. Or, you know, they admit they're an alcoholic. You're an alcoholic, but you're not a really fully uncontrolled alcoholic because you realize you have a problem. The problem is you won't do something about it. Where the people that deny it, that... I don't have a problem, I don't have an issue. Those are the ones with the problem. You know, and the same thing comes with, you know, with the guns. I, I have, I have no issue with people owning guns whatsoever. You know, and I, I, I I'm gray on the whole how many guns you can own. Because, you know, constitutionally, excuse me, they can't limit how many guns you can own. And I understand that. But there should be no reason to be able to have a fully automatic weapon. There's no reason for it. Is crime that bad? Is, you know, like, is this a war-torn area or something that, you know, you need an automatic weapon to defend yourself? Because once again, a semi-automatic is a pop-pop, you know. 
If you're trying to defend yourself and you can't defend yourself with a semi-automatic, there's something wrong with you. Maybe that you do need an automatic weapon. I don't know. But it, the automatic weapon thing, that's that's ridiculous. That, that's absolutely ridiculous. There's no reason for it. Um, you know, with the exception of military, there, there's no reason. A private person shouldn't need a automatic weapon. I mean, that's a touchy subject, but... Right, for now, for my friends, that, that's basically all I have to say about that.